Speaking of warm and dry weather, climate experts say El Nino's pretty much guaranteed to continue this winter. Meteorologist Matt Gray has followed the story all year. New at six tonight. He's here to update us on why this is not good news for the inland northwest. No, it certainly is not, Kirsten. It has been two months since El Nino developed in the East Pacific, and the new forecasts are at 95% for El Nino to continue through the winter. So you probably don't need to sharpen your skis anytime soon. Some big implications for the inland northwest, especially with how strong this El Nino appears to be headed for. 66% chance that it's going to be a strong one, and the stronger it is, the more impacts we will see from it. Now, here's the latest projection for this winter. Not just what usually happens, but also taking in some of those long-range climate computer models we've seen over the last few months. A huge dip in the jet stream, taking moisture well south of us. That's pretty typical. And as a result, keeping high pressure all over the inland northwest more often than not, which means, you guessed it, warm weather. You should be reasonably confident that the cold snaps this coming winter well, they're going to be pretty few and far between. And what's more interesting and potentially optimistic for a change is the question of rain and snow. This kind of setup would not only push a lot of moisture into California, but potentially north into at least the coastal Pacific Northwest as well. There have been six strong El Nino since 1950. Four out of those six gave us average or above average wet weather. A lot of it would be rain, of course, rather than snow with warmer conditions. Now, that's going to be its own problem in about a year from now. But on a positive side, we've got a decent chance at stopping our drought from getting worse this winter. The thing is, you have to get to winter first. The last major El Nino from 2015 to 2016. If we look at fall of 2015, it was incredibly dry. And the Pacific Northwest is the most likely place in the country to have dry fall seasons during El Nino. So considering how dry we are already, it is not hard to see why officials keep telling us that they expect fire crews to be staying busy all the way into October.